Hello there. Hope you are doing well. So here we have uh, another question from the same passage. And the direction for the question is what? Answer the following question on the basis of the given information below. Well, uh, if we look at the text, we understood that what this text is all about. Uh, we identify that uh, the text indicates the uh, exploration of absurdity, uh, absurdist philosophy and theater, and uh, that emphasizes the inherent meaningful, meaningless of existence and the struggle for individual. Um, you can say that individuals to find purpose in an indifferent universe, despite this uh, bleak outlook, right? Despite this bleak outlook, absurdist theater suggests that embracing absurdity can lead to liberation and the creation of personal meeting. We uh, also find out that the tone, uh, which is uh, uh, author's tone, is nothing but an analytical one. And... Uh, uh, we can say contemplative and the style of the passage is nothing but descriptive one, right? So, and interpretive one. So, let's look at the question. What does the question say? Which of the following statement, if true, would most weaken? So, most weaken means uh, we find out some of the option would be there. Means, uh, or more than one option could be called as a weakening to the idea that absurdist theater offers a form of defiance. Now, if we look into this uh, particular question, so we need to find out the most appropriate option which will weaken the idea that absurdist theater offers a form of defiance. What are the choices? Uh, the first choice stated that absurdist plays often depict authentic human connection and emotional openness. Now, in this case, uh, if you see on the basis of the passage, option one, does it weaken the argument? Why? Now, because now, authentic human connection and emotions can coexist, can coexist with a sense of what the defense against a societal pressure. It can even be a source of, uh, you can say that uh, strength, strength in facing absolute. So hence, you can find out Option 1 cannot be called as a strengthening argument. Option 2, some absurdist playwrights believe in human creative abilities to find meaning. Now, yes, this could be a kind of a, a option which will weaken the argument because it is stated some absurdist playwrights believe in human creative abilities to find meaning. Right. So, in this case, it uh, weakens, it weakens. Uh, it weakens the argument if some absurdist playwrights believe in human creative abilities to find meaning. It suggests that the movement is movement is not slowly, movement is not solely, solely focused on defense and may offer alternative ways to cope with the absurdity, isn't it? Hence, we can say option 2 would be an appropriate uh, option which will most weaken the or means weaken the idea. Let's look at the other option which will be called as the most appropriate. Option 3 stated the absurd has been examined by many philosophical schools beyond just existentialism. So no, option 3 is incorrect. The concept of the absurd being explored by other philosophies doesn't affect the idea that absurd is uh, theater you just said. Right. So hence we can say option 3 is eliminated. Option 4 stated, absurdist theater is a potent medium for social critique and commentary. Now, in this case, uh, option 4, also not the answer because it is it doesn't necessarily address the central idea, the finding of meaning of life. Therefore, we consider that option 2 would be a, the best option, means, uh, which will weaken the author's argument. Right? Uh, you can say that the last where it is stated that absurdist theater is a potent medium for social critic and community. Um, you can say that it doesn't necessarily address the central idea, the finding of meaning of life. Therefore, the given notion cannot be, uh, you can say that uh, denied. So if it cannot be denied, it cannot weaken. Uh, can, right? It cannot weaken the option. So hence, the correct answer should be option two. 
I hope you understood this. That's all. Thank you.